I'm telling you, if you want the, uh, if you want a husband, you gotta act like a wife, cause that's what wife does. You know, that's what wife do. Period. I know me, I, as a wife, I will do that for my man. Why don't you wake up a little earlier, iron his shirt, iron his uniform, get him some breakfast, and then wake him up, give him the breakfast, and when he come out the shower half his uniform there and it's nice and iron and clean now i'm not we live in a society where it's like what he could do that himself no i ain't gonna be submissive to nobody and that's why a lot of those type them type of don't be getting wiped up i'm telling you if you want uh, if you want a hug <laughs> to get your man to marry you it's important that you love yourself self-love. Practicing self-love and being aware of self-love is the first step in not only having a healthy relationship with yourself, but also having a healthy relationship with anyone that comes into your life. It's true that there needs to be a certain amount of admiration if they are going to marry you. And when I say admiration, I mean it in two ways. First, he needs to admire you, obviously. And second, he needs to know that you admire yourself. In my opinion, I really don't think that you can truly give all of yourself to someone if you don't learn how to master loving yourself first. In addition to practicing self-love, it's also really important to respect yourself, to know your worth, not to settle for anything less than, and know your own potential. After all, if you don't love you, then why should he? It sounds so simple, right? If you don't love you, why should he? When we made the Fat Women Explain Why Dating Sucks video, most of them were not talking about losing weight. They were talking about not settling, not settling, even though they struggle with attracting the man that they want because of their weight. So apparently they love being fat supersized Big Mac menus. If she doesn't respect herself, don't expect her to respect you. Now, stability sounds boring, but it is absolutely essential. It's like building a house. If you don't have this foundational piece, you will have no baseline to work with, no foundation. You will not be able to follow directions. You will not be able to know it. You will not be able to live in the end. You will not be able to stop wobbling and you won't be able to manifest it. You, you have to know your value deep down as a woman first. In order to increase your perceived value in a man's eyes, you really have to know your own value and increase your value in your own eyes first. Otherwise, it's just kind of all about him. It's almost like a game. Like, I need to show a man that I'm high value. I wrote celibacy. And the reason why I say celibacy is not because I'm celibate right now. And in order for him to like want to wipe you up, I feel like when you're celibate and you tell a guy, a tell a guy that you're celibate, he look at you differently, like with a whole nother respect. Like, I was telling guys I'm celibate and they look at me like, really? Like, wow, because they know that you're not giving a... They, they kitty cat up to nobody. And you know what I'm saying? You, you, you It's like in their eyes, they look at you like you're kind of pure. Like, you know, that's why I wore this jacket, honey, because I am celibate and she is pure. What body count? Not me. <laughs> what the fuck? The foolishness. When a woman says she's celibate, run! Get to the chopper! You better run because there's a reason why she became celibate in the first place she most likely has a body count of the predator himself. And these dudes didn't stick around, so now she became a born-again virgin and you have to earn access to her punani. But the damage has already been done. Can't make a 304 housewife. When he really feels on a deep level that his life is much better with you in it than without you in it. No other woman can hear him or understand him or make him feel the way you do. Now, it's not your job to make him feel good per se, but you can actually do this just naturally and authentically with your energy by really, really getting him. And this is one of those things that you can't convince a man of by talking about it. If you've ever tried to convince a man that his life is better with you in it by telling him all of the reasons why that is, you know that doesn't work. This is something a man just really needs to feel on a deep sort of gut level. Now there are different types of connections. There could be a physical connection, an emotional connection, a spiritual connection, intellectual connection. Because as you've probably guessed, it's about more than sex or being physically attracted to one another. Not to be mistaken for depending on one another for approval or support, an emotional connection happens when you and your man have mutual feelings towards the same things. For example, uh, there's more 
positive interactions between you and him than negative. There have been lots of studies done to where, you know, relationships that really last a lifetime or the, are the ones where there's, I think it's something like five times more positive uh, interactions than negative. That was uh, John Gottman did a study on that. He was actually able to predict whether or not couples would stay together or not with like something like 90 to 95 percent accuracy just based on that one thing. Dr. John Gottman has some interesting stuff about marriage and couples. I'll put the link in the description. If your connection with a certain person is multifaceted, which means that you can connect with them on a multitude of different levels, those types of relationships tend to stand the test of time and tend to be the healthiest relationships. Whereas if you only have a physical connection with someone, we all know that after a certain age, everyone tends to go downhill. And the woman is the first one to meet the wall and did it! But I agree with making a deeper connection. Life has more to offer than sex alone. So if smashing is the only thing you can do with your partner, your relationship won't last long. Loneliness is a serious issue for men and women. Make sure you have two or three deeper connections in your life. And if you still want to be with a woman, I advise you to go to a country where they still value family, relationships, etc. When you add value to his life, and I'm not talking the monetary type, what I mean here is bringing happiness to his life and being the best part of his day. When you can be the reason your boyfriend laughs or smiles, or be the person he goes to for support or a comforting shoulder, then he'll want to keep you around. And I feel like you guys should do that for your man too. It doesn't hurt to be attentive to him because it, the same way we want, we want a guy to take us shopping, we want a guy to show us attention and love, shower, shower us with gifts, Guys, they like to be showered with, you know, unconditional love. You know, value could come in all different kinds of forms. That could be value uh, like um, support. You know, if you're there to really encourage him and support him and stand by his side, even through rough times. Appreciate him. Men love to feel appreciated by their woman. So make a point to not only verbally thank him for all the things he does for you, but also show him that you appreciate him by taking time to do thoughtful things for him. Now, this doesn't mean you have to bend over backwards or break the bank to let him know that you think he's swell, but rather something as simple as surprising him with a nice home-cooked meal after a long day or a back rub before bed, those are the acts that will really mean something to him. This is what it's all about, fellas. If a woman doesn't bring value to your life, then there's no use of having her. Most of these modern women are liabilities. I always tell them, you have to give a man something, and if it's only looks and punani, it's not gonna work. And fellas, you do not have to accept trash in your lives. These women are going to treat you the way you want to be treated. So yes, cook me a nice meal when I come home. Make me a sandwich. And if you can't do that, then get the fuck out of my house. Tell your man what you want from junk. Um, a script that you can say anytime is, I want to be a wife someday. I want to be married someday. Yeah, I want to be a wife someday. I want to be married. Own it. You can say it on the first date. There's nothing wrong with it. Find a way to bring marriage into the conversation and lightly ask if marriage is something he wants to experience in his lifetime. His reaction should give you a pretty good idea and chances are he'll ask you to. So if you find yourself dating a guy for a month, two months, now it's three months, have that conversation. Where do you see us going? If you have an attitude and he don't want to talk about it, that means he just rather sleep with you. He see you as a side chick. He don't see you nothing more than his three o'clock booty call in the middle of the night, okay? Thank you for watching. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Manosphere, we working. This video has officially been highlighted.